All right, moving back to Indonesia, where the government is providing incentives in the amount of 7 million rupiah for those purchasing electric motorbikes and also providing subsidies for the conversion of fuel-based motorcycles to electric ones. Three ministries in the country will cooperate on a scheme to provide incentives, namely the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources, the Finance Ministry, as well as the Ministry of Industry. To boost the use of electric vehicles, mainly motorcycles, within the Indonesian public, the Indonesian government is providing an incentive scheme in the amount of 7 million rupiah for converting fuel-based motorcycles to electric, as well as purchasing an electric motorcycle. Secretary General of the Ministry of Energy and Natural Resources, Rida Mulyana, reiterated that in reaching the ministry's 2022 target and 2023 programs, the incentives or subsidy scheme for electric vehicles have been approved, with the goal of boosting and normalizing the use of electric vehicles, especially electric motorcycles, in Indonesia. Mulyana further explained that the incentive scheme will involve cooperation from the Finance Ministry as well as the Ministry of Industries, and the incentive or subsidy will be channeled to the public through the Ministry of Industry for purchases of electric motorcycles, and for conversion to electric motorcycles, the subsidy or incentive will be channeled through the Ministry of Energy and Natural Resources. Meanwhile, Minister of Energy and Natural Resources Arifin Tasrif said the government have added 92 new location points for the BBM Satu Harga program, a national standard price for fuel in Indonesia that aims to lower fuel costs for certain regions. In doing so, the Ministry of Energy and Natural Resources have reached their target of adding 92 new locations for the BBM Satu Harga program back in 2022. Minister Tasri further explained that in 423 biggest locations in Sumatra, Java, Madura, Bali, Kalimantan, Sulawesi, and even Maluku and Papua, the price of subsidized pertalite fuel with the program is sold at around 10,000 rupiah per liter, while diesel fuel is sold at 6,800 rupiah per liter. The Ministry of Energy and Natural Resources is targeting to add 89 new locations in 2023 and 71 locations in the year 2024. To further realize the government's goal to have fair pricing in all regions in Indonesia.